Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Anthropics MCP has become quite popular. It's an open standard that enables developers to build secure two-way connections between their data sources and AI-powered tools. The architecture is straightforward and very simple. Developers can either expose their data through MCP servers or build their MCP clients that connect to those servers. We already have done a very easy, very simple tutorial on model context protocol as you can see on your screen. So just search the channel with MCP tutorial and you will become a hero from zero in no time after following that tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a tool which has sprung up that is called as MCP Use. It's an open source library that connects any LLM to MCP tool for custom agents, featuring seamless integration with tools like LangChain and also you can change it as per your use case if you know how to change the code because it's all open source. License is also quite permissible, which is MIT. So we are going to install it locally and I will also show you how exactly this thing works. Before that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are NextVIO. If you are too busy to automate your customer support, NextVIO model and AI ready to go chatbot instantly handles customer questions for you. So, but you need to be quick. The next 10 viewers who click the link in video description get their chatbot professionally created and delivered hassle free. So check the video description, go to their website and check them out because I think it's a pretty good offer. Okay, having said that, let's go back to our MCPUs and get it installed on our local system. First up, this is Ubuntu system I'm using. You can get it installed wherever you have Python running on Windows or on your Linux or Mac system. So let me create this virtual environment with Conda. And by the way, while it creates that virtual environment, couple more words on this MCPU. So it's open source way to connect any LLM to any MCP server and build custom agents that have tool access without using closed source or application client. So primarily it is enabling the developers to easily connect any LLM to tools like web browsing, file operation and much, much more. So quite flexible it seems and you can even do dynamic server selection for a given task from the available pool. The project is quite new. So I believe at the moment it supports OpenAI and Anthropics model. I'm just going to show you how exactly it works with the OpenAI's model. For that, you would need your API key from platform.openai.com and that is a paid option. So make sure that you have grabbed it if you are following along. The installation of this MCP use is also pretty straightforward. Just use this pip install. You can also build it from the source. And as it uses LangChain behind the scenes, so we also need to install that LangChain and I'm just using it with OpenAI's integration. If you want to use Anthropic, just do LangChain-Anthropic. LangChain, we have covered a lot on the channel. It is a simple framework to uh, build your AI-powered application, especially when you need to uh, connect these LLMs to the external data sources. Okay, so that is all the installation we need to do. Let's configure our environment. I'm just going to go to one of the existing directory. Let's create a new directory. Maybe I'll just call it MCP1 because I already have the other one. Okay, sorry, CD MCP1. Let's create an environment file and I'm just going to open it in VS Code. In this environment file, I'm just going to put my uh, open as API key which I'm going to put it in here so let me save it and then exit and go back to terminal that is all done now let me show you this in action so I'm just going to create a new code file I'm just going to call it app.py let's go back to vs code and open that app.py here and let me show you the code so this is a code which we can use in order to use this MCP use. Let me explain what is happening here. First up, all we are doing, we are importing the libraries which we have created. This is our asynchronous main function where we are using this Playwright uh, library. Basically, it's a Playwright MCP server. You don't have to implement it. 
you don't have to worry about how that mcp server has been created all you need to do is to consume it through this mcp use that is the whole idea behind it so it mcp is abstracting every detail from you and this mcp use is even taking it to further level of simplicity where you can easily use it by instantiating the client and from the from this config which is using that mcp server this is the llm which we are instantiating if you are using anthropic just replace it cloud or whatever and then this is where we are creating the agent and for example we want to ask it find the best restaurant in san francisco it is going to use that playwright uh, browser automation library and then get the result for you so this is how simple this thing is so let me take you to my terminal and run it and it was actually fairly quick but let me show what happened here so as soon as i ran it it said that it couldn't find this playwright which is of course um, expected then it automatically downloaded that server the mcp one and then it installed whatever needed to be done after that it ran that web search which we gave and then it is uh, it was able to give us the result and of course it can't get the real-time data it's a model but look at this how good that is and that is the whole beauty of this mcp stuff and when you run it second time you see all those installation errors gone because it already has installed installed the stuff which you needed to do first time okay now let me show you another example so in this one we are going to use uh, mcp server for airbnb so what we want to do is to find me a nice place to stay in barcelona for two adults for a week in august and then these are the conditions which i have put in here and you go you see that we have defined our configuration and then we are just simply using this anthropics model and that's pretty much it so and this airbnb json file is present in their github repo so let me git clone the repo and then use it from there also i am, might just change this to gpt4 o because otherwise i would have to set in my anthropic key in my dot env file so you see i have just made a drop and replacement so i replace a cloud with gpt4 o and this is a airbnb mcp file which i have grabbed from your, their github repo all we are doing here is we are using this mcp server for air uh, airbnb created by openbnb and you can even put that config file as we did in the previous example in your main code and then use it from there but we have just decoupled it so you can decouple lot of things including model your config file you can dynamically swap between models or your mcp servers and you can imagine you can create a very complex uh, application accessing various data sources served by these um, mcp servers okay so let me run this and as soon as i run it it already completed it's very fast you see it started that uh, server airbnb and then these are the option it has given me there you go how good is that so i hope that you got the idea that makes it very easy to use mcp servers and just with this python library i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching